What's up, Paragon community? My name is Zeke. And my name is Mooney. And we'd like to thank you for joining us for the first online test for Paragon. This first test is going to focus on checking our online infrastructure and matchmaking to make sure that it holds up to scale in the future. This means that the game is in an early state, so systems, gameplay, and graphics are all a bit rough. So you may encounter different bugs, lag, and balance, and probably longer than normal matchmaking times. There's also no in-game tutorial, no in-game help, a lot of UI elements are incomplete, and the graphics are far from where we want them to be. Basically, we're giving it to you guys really early. If you'd rather wait until the game is more complete, we totally understand. We totally get it. We'd love for you guys to join us early next year when we'll have a more polished experience. All that being said, we're super excited to get Paragon in your hands. So let's go over some of the most important gameplay mechanics in Paragon. First, let's talk about leveling up. To level up an ability, hold the control key, and then the ability key you want to level up. You'll notice there's an indication on your HUD displaying which abilities you can level up at any given time, which will allow you to customize how you play. Next up is itemization. If you hit the G key at base, you'll bring up the card menu. Here you can see all the cards and the amount of card points available to you based on your card XP uh, level. Those, those don't look like cards. See, calm down. The team is still working on them. To purchase a card, click the slot you want to put the card into, then click the card. Each card is different and augments your character in different ways. You can also upgrade cards. To do this, click the card you want to upgrade and you'll notice there will be new cards to select. Upgrading your cards will make them and you stronger. Some cards like health and mana potions can be activated by clicking the corresponding number key. The card menu is only accessible while you're in base, so keep that in mind. Each hero in Paragon is unique and they all have different abilities and different ranges, so always keep an eye on your reticle. If the reticle turns red, pretty much means go. As you engage enemies, you will take damage, so always monitor your health. If your health gets really low, hit B. This will begin a recall and will take you all the way back to base. Once there, your health and energy will regenerate rapidly. This will help you get back out into the fight and stay alive. Keep in mind, when you begin your recall, if you take any damage at all, you will be knocked out of it so find a safe place before recalling to the base. Recalling to base will automatically activate travel mode. If you ever want to get somewhere quicker than normal, use travel mode. To activate travel mode, hit shift. After a few seconds, you'll see your camera push in and you'll notice your character moves quicker than normal. Using any abilities or attacking will cause you to exit travel mode. Also, if you take any damage at all while in travel mode, you'll be rooted in place. So be really careful when you're using travel mode. If you're familiar with other MOBAs, you will recognize the jungle, where you can find different neutral camps that drop unique buffs when defeated. In the jungle, you'll also find harvesters. But what do harvesters do? <laughs> uh, players activate them by placing key cards. Once a key is activated, it will begin harvesting amber for you and your team. You can grab this amber whenever you stand on the collection zone. Your skill rises. In addition to individual hero experience, amber provides another type of experience that you earn in the game that makes you stronger. Any hero, minion, or tower that dies in Paragon will drop Amber. Picking up these orbs will add to your and nearby allies' card XP. And once you've collected enough Amber, you can earn card points to spend on cards. This is depicted by the experience meter on the HUD. The key to victory in Paragon is teamwork. Press T to use team comms whenever you need help attacking or defending lanes, or need to get your allies' attention. All other chat is currently disabled. Always look for opportunities to help your allies get the edge up on your opponents. An enemy tower has been destroyed. As a team, you must work your way through the enemy's towers, take down their inhibitors, and finally bring down their core to win. These are just a few of the basics. For a fully comprehensive guide that covers other gameplay mechanics, systems, keyboard bindings, character guides, and more, visit our private forums. We really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out this video and can't wait to hear what you have to say about the game. We want to build and improve Paragon with you, the community, in mind. We can't wait to hear your feedback, and we promise to listen. Good luck, and have fun.